left. As you can hear, these disc brakes are making a lot of noise. Something is definitely rubbing in there and we've got to find out what it is. Now one of the best things about disc brakes is they're pretty much set it and forget it. But after a few months, residue can build up inside the caliper, the rotor can get warped, we can get our greasy fingers on the caliper or on the rotor as you see right now. So they do need a bit of maintenance, which we're going to do today. First let's get the wheel off. And let's just inspect what's going on in there. Something looks pretty crazy in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. See this right here? Looks like this is the cover for the bleed port right here. Looks like it somehow got sucked in and now it's a little piece of rubber just sitting in there. Really stuck in there. So this is probably what our noise was. But there is still some rubber in there that we got to clean up. Now the pistons look pretty clean. See when we hit the front brake lever, they actually go in and out pretty smoothly. but. We still got to clean them up a bit. What this is doing is allowing the pistons to retract properly because if they get dirty when you pull them after a long descent they'll get stuck. They won't retract fully all the way because of all the dirt around them. So this doesn't need to be done too often but as you could see it's pretty it's not all that complicated. Maybe do this I don't know every thousand miles every every, every I don't know I guess it depends. Depends on your riding habits. You start hearing the disc brake go ting, ting, ting on you, it's time to do it. Also clean the outside of the caliper too. I just go in there and just kind of floss it with a paper towel. Of course I don't go too crazy because the paper towel could rip and that's not what, not what we're trying to do here. To take a look at the brake pads themselves. Just wipe down the grit. Those brake pads actually look pretty good. And we're going to put the brake pads back in. Perfect. Now we're going to have to very carefully push the pistons back in. We don't want to crack the brake pads doing this, so just a very, very little bit of force. Tiniest bit of force. The tiniest bit. Crack a brake pad, that's it, can't ride your bike. Luckily for me, I got the a more gentle touch and I also have a spare pair of brake pads somewhere, somewhere around here. All right, time to put the wheel back in. And let's see if the noise went away. So as you can see and hear, there is no more noise at all from the rotors. Now this job took me about 10 minutes to do just because I am manipulating the camera and filming it. But without the camera, probably under five minutes, as you see, take the wheel out, take the pads out, clean everything out, put them back in. There you go, good to go. And you might have to just go ahead and straighten out your rotor if your rotor is still making that ting, ting, ting noise. Don't believe the hype. Disc brakes are not as complicated as you would think. They actually are pretty easy and my disc brakes have given me a lot less headaches than my rim brake bikes. Thanks for watching.